Hi guys, so today is the first lecture in the Compiler Construction and Design series and in the first lecture uh, I'm going to dive in right to the topic of eliminating left recursion in a grammar. So the first step to eliminate left recursion is to identify what a left recursion is. So how do you identify whether a grammar is left recursive or not? Well, a grammar is said to be left recursive if it is of the form A gives you A alpha slash beta. Now, to eliminate it, we have a few steps which we have to perform. Now, obviously, the steps wouldn't be clear to you. Uh, they're just on paper. As we saw more and more examples, they'll get clear and clearer and clearer to you. So, to eliminate it, you write A gives you beta A dash and A dash gives you alpha A dash slash epsilon. So basically this epsilon you add so that the recursion stops. Okay, so I know this is pretty vague and without examples it would become dry. But for now just remember to eliminate a left recursion you have to use this where A gives you beta A dash where beta is this beta. A dash is a new variable which we have introduced and A dash gives you alpha A dash and epsilon. Okay, so let us solve a question. So the first example is E gives you E plus T slash T. Okay, so now uh, first step is to identify whether it is a left recursive grammar. So how do I identify left recursive grammar? A gives you A alpha slash beta. So here as you can see you have A this part becomes A, this part becomes alpha, and this is my beta. So what was the next rule? How do you eliminate it? Well, you write A gives you beta A dash, and A dash gives you alpha A dash slash epsilon. So to eliminate this, what we're going to do, E, that is my A, gives you beta A dash, that is T E dash, and E dash gives you alpha A dash. So plus T E dash slash epsilon. So this is my beta, this is my A dash, this is my alpha again, this is my A dash and this is my epsilon. So as you can see that I have just put in the formula from here to here. Okay, so now let's do another example. So we get a little bit clear with the concept. So the next example, I want you guys to try it with me, okay? So the next example is A gives you A, B, alpha, A, a, A. So here, well, the trick, not really the trick, but here you have two left recursions to remove. One is this, the other is this, and this becomes the beta. So this becomes my alpha 1, this becomes my alpha 2, right? Oh, sorry, um, I messed up, am I bad? This becomes my alpha 1 this becomes my alpha 2. So I have to remove this and this. So now what you can do uh, in this ba basic, just for the start, you can divide it into two grammars. That is A gives you A beta alpha slash A and A gives you A, A and A. However, this won't be necessary as you get more used to the, this type of questions. So um, this is my, uh, this would be my alpha this would be my beta and here this would be my alpha and this would be my beta. So here the answer would be to this problem would be that A gives you A A dash and A dash gives you alpha A dash slash epsilon. So B, beta alpha A dash slash epsilon and the, here the answer would be A gives you a 
a dash again and because beta a dash and a dash gives you alpha a dash that is a a dash slash epsilon and now you combine the two and when you combine the two one two three four you find that one and three are absolutely the same thing so you eliminate one of these and the our final answer would be these three okay so moving on one more last example just to make things even more clearer um, we'd be taking the third example that is a gives a c slash a a d slash b d slash c so now here we have two betas and two alphas so i want you to identify it with me what the betas and alphas are so this is my alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 and beta 2 so this is a small c okay so it's a basically it's a terminal whenever you have small letters they are your terminals and capital letters are your non terminals so okay so um, again diving into the question um, we first write a gives me beta a dash right so I have now two beta so I'm gonna write beta 1 a dash and beta 2 a dash so um, the a dash so we have b d a dash and c a dash and for a dash we have alpha a dash right so you write the rule is alpha a dash plus epsilon so um, we have two alphas so you're gonna do it for both of them so c a dash slash a d a dash slash epsilon so this is your final answer and like I said you don't need to split it up every time as you get more used to it this is how we do it and in the next lecture I'm going to be covering left factoring so see you guys then thank you thank, thank you so much for watching please do comment and please do subscribe